Some people got this crazy idea to wait to be happy when life isn't hard anymore. I'm like, be happy now. We're all after self-esteem and nobody is chasing down what they really should be chasing down, which is earning respect. You know, respect is like a paycheck. If you don't earn it, you don't deserve it. If you work every day and live within your means, your privilege is gonna be your family, what you've earned, that nest egg, enjoying the one day retirement that you'll have. You know, a lot of people, they just never get anything done because they're indecisive. You gotta be decisive, y'all. Right or wrong, be decisive. The road is paved everywhere I go with squirrels that never could make a decision. <laughs> See, I don't squirm when people call me names. I call things like they are because I'd rather be rational than sympathetic. If you think that's harsh, get off the soy milk. You do you is what you get when you got a grown woman, a grown woman putting Gorilla Glue in her hair and getting 16 grand in a GoFundMe account. 16 grand, okay? She ought to have to pay Gorilla Glue 16 grand for making society read that stupid article. I just got back from a family vacation in Yellowstone and they had a, a sign out there that said, please don't feed the bears because uh, it creates a dependent population unable to fend for themselves. And I'm thinking, yeah, like welfare? <laughs> the most terrifying thing to a liberal is a self-sufficient man. Did y'all know that? Because a self-sufficient man, he can't be controlled. A man that says, I can roll up my sleeves, I can do this on my own, I can figure it out, I can use critical thinking, that man cannot be controlled. How about we start a mission with our youth to work hard, to not be a burden on anybody, and to earn some respect. It feels good, y'all, I promise. It took me 10, 11 years to get where I'm at, but here we are. I'm not gonna spend 10, 10 11 years. Let me tell you something. Any job you're gonna be at, period, before you get to any kind of management level or any hope of a management level, you're gonna be putting in 10 or 11 years. So just go ahead and buckle down. You might as well chase your dreams. You might as well follow something and do something that really fires you up, that you're passionate about. That is if this generation is passionate about anything besides self-esteem. My granddad told me a long time ago that when you're 20 years old, you worry about what everybody thinks about you. When you're 40 years old, you stop caring about what people think about you. When you're 60, you realize nobody was thinking about you in the first place. <laughs> but my hope is not in a country. My granddad's hope was not in a country. My hope is not in a president or a politician. My hope is in Jesus Christ. He is the only, only way that me or you are ever going to get out of here alive. And when he comes calling that role, on Judgment Day, whether you believe it or not, there's going to be a Judgment Day. You don't have to believe it. There's going to be a Judgment Day. I could write a, another 50 songs. They could all go number one. What in the world am I going to take with me when I'm gone? I was on some big radio show last week, and they were asking me about you know race and all this crazy stuff going on. I'm like, the only thing that should be separated by color is the laundry, right? It makes me matter to spit, y'all. I swear, for every American that gets killed by an illegal, we should deport a politician who supports open borders. That'd stop it. I ain't gonna listen otherwise. You know, it's just a fact that some people ain't gonna like you unless you fit inside their little box. Don't be afraid to take that little box and stick it where the sun don't shine.